Hello, I'm Joe Dillette, and I've been carving for a lot of years. I've made most of my living carving. I've used a lot of different chisels, and I've become very fond of the shaft tools. I have the shaft 12-piece set, and I have the shaft 7-piece set here. I am very impressed with their quality, but especially now, I am impressed with their toughness because I've been using the shaft wood carving chisels to carve stone. I'm carving marble. This isn't just a soft limestone. This is marble. What I've done is I've taken shaft tools and I've removed the handle because the wood handle would not hold up. And I put on a metal handle. So the handle I put on, a quarter inch galvanized nipple, Put a cap on the end, I just pinched it down so I, so I could jam the handle on. So it's just a friction fit and it's something that I can take off. This is what I've been using and I've been hitting hard. This mallet here, you'll see in the picture I broke this thing right here at the pipe. So this is a two and a quarter pound mallet that I'm using to hit this. And then for the little lighter hits, I have the two pound and one pound. If I want to hit harder with it, then I can put another half pound in it by screwing this on the end. So this is just a reducer inch and a half pipe down to a half inch with a nipple on. I like it very much for stone carving. One thing about shaft tool is the steel quality. It is not real brittle, but it's got a lot of toughness that holds the edge very well. So a normal stone carving chisel has got an angle on it of 90 degrees, 45 on a side. This is the point this is a chisel that I broke. This is another chisel that if I hit very hard, I will break. Because how they make these chisels, they have tungsten carbide tips on. And then the tips are brazed on. So where this chisel broke is I broke the brazing, so I had to re-braze this. You can see in the picture how it broke. The thing is with the tungsten carbide, if you hit it too hard, it is brittle and it will chip it. So there are many times that you chip the carbide right on the chisel because of the brittleness of it. A wood carving tool, it normally wouldn't hold up, but the toughness of shaft tools makes it a pretty good tool for carving stone. The thing is, is it's not tungsten carbide, it's a softer so it's not as brittle and yet it has the toughness that I can hit it very hard. I'm not worried about breaking it and I have to change the angle a little bit more on the end. To, so for wood carving we're using a 22 degree angle and for stone carving I take and I raise that by about maybe to about a 45 degree. So I'm not using the 90 degree that is normally in the stone carving chisel. I assure you that I'm not damaging this chisel at all. I have the ultimate respect for it. After this pounding, and without going back to the grinding wheel, I still have a good enough edge that I can come in here. Look, it's smoothing off. I'm using the chisel upside down. And even with all that pounding, I, the edge is still wonderful. So going in here and doing the smoothing in the face. But it only takes just a few seconds to get the edge back off. That's it. I, you don't have to buff it. You can hit this harder than a carbide tool. Carbide is brittle and it's going to break. They work for stone carving 
But boy, if they'll do this, they'll stand up to wood carving very well. So for a wood carver, when does the toughness of the shaft tools really pay off? And it pays off in the resistance to chipping that cutting. When I'm done with this, I can just take this handle off, put the wood handle back, and I'm back to carving. I haven't hurt the chisel at all. So this one here, I've been carving stone with, and I went back and I've resharpened it back to the 22 degrees, and you can see it's still a good chisel for wood carving. I haven't hurt it at all. And when I put this in the vise, the vise is lined with leather, so it's not going to hurt. So you can remove the handle and put the wood handle back on. As long as I have the handle off, I want to show you what a nice sturdy shank this has. Most of them are thinner and they come to a point. This has kind of a point on the end, but it's got good heavy notches to keep it, the handle from turning, but it's a good stiff shank. And it's back to wood carving. So I assure you, if you have any apprehension about buying shaft tools, if you're questioning their, what a refined tool they are, they're very refined, but they're also very tough. Thank you.